A Metro City's multi-million dollar contract with a private company is called into question. Fox 25 learned Edmond renewed its contract after some city members, uh, staff members, claimed they were threatened by one of the owners. We've got your back tracking your tax dollars all the way to the trash dump. It's trash day. And you might not think about your garbage after it leaves your curb. But in Edmond, as it heads first to the privately owned Edmond Transfer Station, then to the dump, it's a big, lucrative business. There have been no problems with, with our contract. We've had a great relationship. The contract is with ETS Enterprises, owned by several people, including Derek Turner of Turner & Company and Clay Coldiron of Broadway Development Group. Edmond City Council recently renewed its five-year deal with them against the advice of the city's public works staff and the public works committee. It all comes down to this 14 mile stretch Edmonds trash has to go through. First, it starts at the Edmond transfer station. This is in North Edmond, north of Covell Road. Then it has to travel all the way down to the East Oak landfill in Oklahoma City. Now, City of Edmond staff decided to run the numbers to see if they could save you money by taking over this job themselves. Fox 25's open records request turned up thousands of documents revealing their efforts to look at all the options, starting back in March of 2021, including purchasing the Edmond Transfer Station outright, an option outlined in their contract for nearly $7 million. They had more than enough money in the Solid Waste Reserve Fund. City employees calculated buying it would save up to $120,000 a year, with up to $840,000 in profits. The return on investment from the purchase would come within five years. Another option, the city taking its own trash all the way to the dump, saving taxpayers an estimated $1.1 million a year. When ETS got word of the effort in June, city documents reveal Cold Iron and Turner met with Edmonds mayor, warning they would seek damages if the city moved forward with the plan and accused the city of breaching its contract three times. By September of 2021, Cold Iron's negotiations with public work staff on a new agreement took a dark turn, especially as city staff pointed out Edmund was being charged 18 percent more than the rate ETS was charging others. We went straight to Edmund city leaders to ask about those meetings. Was anybody threatened? Uh, I'm not I'm not aware of it if there was anything like that. Yeah. I mean, would that be something the city's OK with working with vendors who are threatening city employees? I wouldn't think so, no, but I'm, I'm not familiar with the exactly the negotiations. I, I know the dates and I know that they were trying to get to a final a final number and an agreement, but I don't know as far as the, the actual tone of the room. But that tone was detailed in writing by the three employees in those meetings and then shared with the mayor and council members. One employee described intimidation and bullying tactics, saying Clay Coldiron threatened to use his leverage with city council to get the deal he wanted. Another staffer detailed how Coldiron told them it would be super aggressive politically and that ETS ownership will come after you. No, uh, that that I didn't make that comment either. Cold Iron declined an in-person interview, but did speak with us over the phone. So would you go as far as to say that's a lie? No, I would never say that. I would just say that I don't have any recollection of ever having made that comment. Was what I was trying to communicate to them was that, you know, the ownership is not going to take this from the staff. Um, and just and just roll over and just accept it. Ultimately, ETS got a new contract approved by city council, now charging the city an even higher base rate. It runs through 2027, and city leaders say this vendor contract, like all others, will be revisited when it expires. We're always looking for cost savings, and staff does a really good job of trying to find ways where we can be the best stewards of, of public money. Public money going into private hands, not just handling your trash. <laughs> but also potentially wielding more power and influence over your tax dollars than you realize. Now, we did reach back out to the city of Edmond for further comment, but spokesman Moore declined. In our original interview with him, he maintained the council believed it was best to continue contracting with ETS in order to ensure no interruptions in service to residents and said council couldn't be certain there would not be more unexpected costs than public works estimated if they went in a different direction.